So from love 40 and almost gone, back to juice for all. Advantage, Mrs. King. And break point number four. Over eager to get to the net on the suspect forehand. There she is practicing it. She tried to push it and get to the net too quickly. What a game to survive. Five games to four. Serving to stay in the match. Four, five down. Final set. Fifteen love. Love. Just a turn of the wrist, a bit of backspin, and the drop shot is there. In that case, a stop volley. Well, she went for the drive volley, the topspin volley, didn't come off. As a matter of fact, Bill, I think that one that she hit there on the volley might just have gone out. It was edging that way. Incidentally, for those viewers who uh, are interested in whether or not this is a tiebreaker set or all the way set, the final set will be played to a finish. And Yvonne is just two points away from victory. 30 all, 4-5, Mrs. King. The round arm smash, getting her out of trouble. Not many players play that. Jimmy Connors does. Billy Jean has a few times this week. Oh, tough. Five games all, final sets. So Mrs. King edges out 
have a little bit of trouble, just two points away from defeat. Five all. Got a ball, wrote it down, please. And the other one. Not quite up to Wimbledon standard, perhaps, these ball girls, but they've done a very good job here, coming from school each morning and officiating in the afternoon. Poetry in motion indeed when she's in full flood. She and Arthur Ashe, perhaps two of the most graceful players. Thirty-fifteen. One mustn't forget, of course, as Fred Perry reminds me, Ilya Stasi. Truly balanced, marvellous, natural games players. Five, Miss Gulagong leads in the final set. Call the ball down there, please. So her nose in front now, Yvonne Gulagong. And I think uh, perhaps if Mrs. King does not get the first serve in, it might be a good idea for this Australian girl to do a little net attack of her own because with Mrs. King, uh, one must never let her get to the net. Mrs. King, on the other hand, now uh, serving to stay in the match. And uh, unless I miss my guess, it's going to be a serve and volley game. <coughs> and it's been a, a very, very good match indeed. Very, very interesting, a game of tactics. And uh, throughout, right from the very beginning, it's been Mrs. King who's been calling the tune. So, 5-6 down, final set. Fifteen love. Not many players can play a shot like that from behind their back with that sort of touch. Even though she gets so low for these volleys, she still gives herself a lot of advice about getting down. Thirty fifteen. Forty fifteen.
Left. First service. Oh, just start. Came to Mrs. King. Went like a rocket. Six games all, final set. And they've been playing for about eight minutes under the under two hours, Bill, and uh, they've really kept up the pace all the time. For two crocs, that's not too bad, Fred, is it? Yvonne's had problems with her knee, with her leg, rather. And Billie Jean, of course, has had a whole catalogue of uh, troubles with her knees, operations, great long scars on her knees, too. There's evidence of that. Both now fully fit, they told me yesterday. Fifteen thirty. Yvonne doing very well indeed to dig it up. Billie Jean had a long chase for it. Vital point, that one. 30 all. Out. 40, 30. Well-known tactics to chip the ball down the middle and hope to pick up the next shot on the volley. But Yvonne Gulagong's passing strokes are working well, finding the gaps. So once again, it was some time ago, but once again, Yvonne Gulagong is just two points away from victory in the semi-final. Eight, nine, 30 all. Forty, thirty. 
and just when she should be obeying rule one in that situation of getting the ball in play once again she dumps it in the net advantage miss Goolagong. glorious forehand return floated over bringing her match point number two Oh, that's a marvellous lob. Great match. Very sportingly accepted by Billie Jean King. And so Yvonne Goulagong. Goulagong wins by two sets to one. One, six, six, four, ten, eight. And goes into the final of the Crosby car uh, Carpets Tournament. Uh. <laughs> well, there we are. There was Fred Perry, <coughs> actually, and uh, Bill Throffel. Our thanks to them, our commentators. And I must say, it was wonderful to see such tennis from two great players. And that is, of course, why we majored on that semi-final. The other semi-final is still in progress. That is between Sue Barker and uh, Tanya Hufford. And the score on that one at the moment is that Miss Barker won the first set, 7-5. And she's leading in the second set. Uh, no, I'm sorry, Miss Half of the South Africa girl is leading in the second set, 2-1. Well, now today's headlines from the world of sport. Cricket, first of all.